Okay, so we have a new example, example number 3. A 70 mm wide by 3 mm thick steel plate is connected to a support with a 16 mm diameter pin. The steel plate carries an actual load of 8 kN. Determine the bearing stress in the steel plate. So we have a steel plate, this one, and it has 70 mm wide and it has a thickness of 3 mm. Then it is connected to a support you now with a 16 mm diameter pin. So the diameter of this pin is 16 mm. And then the steel plate carries an actual load of 8,000 newton. So determine the bearing stress in the steel plate. Okay, so take note there is a, um, there is a contact you now between, there is a surface contact between the rivet, okay, or the pin and the steel plate. So what is our air bearing area in this case? Our bearing area here is if we try to project this one, so our bearing area is this one, which is rectangular. This is the projection, no? This one here, that the project the projection of the pin and the steel plate. Okay, so we use the formula bearing stress is equal to the actual load over the area. The bearing stress here is unknown. This is then we have um, the P or the the actual load that is 8 kN. So we multiply it by 1000 then we get 8000 newton over the area. Now the area is the rectangular projection that is just the thickness. Okay? So, if we try to draw it horizontally, so ito yung makikita natin, this one. So, if we have our pin there, so we have the projection, this one, okay? That is the thickness times the diameter, okay? Diameter of our bolt. So, therefore, we have the thickness that is equal to 3 mm, correct? So we have, uh, since the thickness of, of our plate is 1, 3 mm. That is 3 mm times the diameter of the pin, 16 mm. So we have, this one is 16 mm. So if you multiply mm here, and we have millimeter also here, so the, if you multiply both numbers, so we come up with millimeter squared. So our bearing stress here, that is equal to 166.6666. 667 mega pascal. So this is your answer. Okay, so we have example number four. The lock joint shown in the figure is fastened by a 3 fourth inch diameter rivet. Calculate the maximum safe load P that can be applied if the shearing stress in the rivet is limited to 14,000 PSI and the bearing stress in the plate is limited to 18 kilopound per square inch. Assume the lo applied load is uniformly distributed among the four rivet. Okay, so we have four rivet. Okay, and this rivet joins two metals. No, and this metal is four inch wide and seven eight inch thick. Okay, and our rivet has a diameter of three fourth inch. So in this problem, we are asked to compute for the safe load P so that our rivet has a shearing stress not exceeding 14,000 pound per square inch and the bearing stress in the plate should not exceed 18,000 pound per square inch. Now take note that the P here or the load P is divided or uniformly distributed in the four rivet. So therefore each rivet is resisting one fourth of the load P. So divide lang by four. So therefore, in this case, it's P over four, and this one is also P over four. So each rivet has a internal force of P over four. So the first thing we do here is to compute for the required P considering the bearing stress in the plate. So let's try to compute for the P using the bearing stress. So from our formula, the bearing stress is equal to P over A. 
Okay? Now, what is our bearing area? Again, the bearing area is the the surface or the area of contact between the rivet and the and the plate. Okay? So, in that case, the area of contact is the rectangular projection. So, that is the diameter times the thickness. This is the diameter of the rivet times the thickness of the plate. Again, why is it? So, if we try to draw the contact, that's area of contact. So, this is the area of contact. And this one here is the diameter of the rivet. And this one is the thickness. Okay? So, if we cut any section. So, we have here, however, our internal load, internal load P here is one fourth. Correct? So, therefore, that is the bearing stress is equal to P over 4 over the diameter of the rivet times the thickness or the area. Okay? So, we have the bearing stress which is equal to 18 KSI or that is 18,000 pound per square inch. This equals to P over 4. Now, the diameter of the rivet is 3 fourth and the thickness and the thickness here is 7 over 8. Okay, the thickness of the plate is 1. So therefore, the value of P here is equal to 47,250. Now take note, um, we have um, unit for area is inch squared. Tama? Then we can cancel out inch squared and the inch squared. So the remaining unit is in terms of pound. Okay, so this is the, um, the load or the required P by considering the bearing stress of the rivet. But it doesn't end there, so we need to compute the P required for the shearing stress. Okay, from the formula shearing stress, we have um, V over A, correct? Again, so if if you have not if you are not yet familiar with shearing stress, you can watch my video in my channel. So we have the shearing stress here that is 14,000. 14,000 pound per square inch. Okay. Now take note, each volt is resisting one fourth of the load P. Correct? So therefore, our internal shear, that is P over 4. Now our area here, since in, shearing, in shear stress, the shear area is parallel to the shear force. Now in this case, our P over 4 is parallel to the area or parallel to the cross-sectional area of the rivet. So that means we have the area of the rivet, pi over 4, times the diameter of the rivet, that is um, 3 4 squared. Okay? From the area is equal to um, pi d squared over 4, the area of the circuit. So we have P here equals to so 24,740.042. Now, take note we have two values of P here. Alin sa dalawa yung i-adapt natin as our load P. Okay? Now, take note, if we adapt 47,250 pounds as our load P, maaring safe siya sa steel plate, kay since steel plate is 18,000 pounds per square inch siya, lang siya, However, hindi siya safe sa rivet since ating rivet could only resist 14,000 PSI. If we use 47,250 as our load P, so maaring ating shear stress would be greater. Okay, mas tataas yung ating shear stress. But take note, 14,000 14, lang yung allowable shearing stress ng ating rivet. Okay, that. So if we try to use this one, it would cause failure sa rivet. So therefore, it is safe to say that our safe load P here is 24,740.042 pound. Now, this one is the safer load P. Now, since again, 24,740 would give us bearing stress like lesser than 18,000 and shear stress equal to 14,000 PSI. Okay, that's it for the bearing stress. So, if you have question, you can comment it down. Okay, guys. So, thank you for listening.